welcome back. I'm Amanda and this is the Book Mavens channel. Um, I'm coming to you to review quickly The Daughter of Sherlock Holmes, which I finished um, yesterday. I had picked it up because it was in the mystery section and it looked great and I, I'm a huge fan of the Sherlock Holmes as a character um, and just wanted to give the series a try. So the book is about um, Joanna, who is the byproduct of a romantic assignation. Um, one time between Irene Adler and Sherlock Holmes, um, Dr. John Watson helped her find, um, when Irene Adler dies, they help her to be adopted. And then they subsequently, um, meet up with her again in the future. Uh, John Watson has a son who is also named John Watson, which is only confusing for a little bit because pretty quickly the younger one just goes by John, who he's also a, a doctor. And then the older one goes by Dr. Watson. So that trio essentially sets on, on this mystery to try to solve a crime um, that was witnessed by Joanna and her son, who is the spitting image of Sherlock Holmes. Um, and then, of course, it's the typical um, of them solving of the mystery, unraveling of the clues. There's a lot of really great tie-ins and throwbacks to the original Sherlock Holmes cases. And that's what I liked about it. I liked that it had a, a it was a unique take to see how um, a female character kind of navigated having the intellect and the deductive prowess of Sherlock Holmes. But then of course you still get the, the kind of familiar case approach, the familiar um, rationale. Uh, and that's what I liked about it. It was a pretty easy read. It was a pretty light read. Um, the things I didn't love about it. <laughs> so, I w okay, this is just a pet peeve. In the audiobook, the audiobook kept mispronouncing or using an alternative pronunciation of Lestrade, Inspector Lestrade, which is how it's heard in most um, film adaptations, if nothing else. They kept calling him Lestrade, and I... It just kind of kept throwing me every time because I've I've watched a lot of Sherlock Holmes ad adaptations and listened to a lot of audiobooks, and it just kind of bugged me. I was like, oh, that's not how most people pronounce his name. And if you're gonna do a character this well known, I just felt like you should go with the most um, the most common pronunciation. So that kind of irritated me a little bit. There are some moments where the writing is really kind of convenient, um, and sometimes it seems to break with the character. There's one scene in particular that just kind of really, really burned my grits a little bit, and I kept thinking about it long after it was over. It was such an insignificant scene. They're doing an autopsy. They're looking at a body. Um, they've kind of snuck in to try to gather evidence, and aside the fact from that they acknowledge and then completely ignore um, Jewish faith and tradition practices when it comes to the way that a, a deceased body is treated. We'll put that aside even for the moment. Um, she doesn't recognize the star of David on his necklace and like has to ask about it, which then of course allows them to explain what it is. And then, you know, of course, the necklace ends up being important in terms of a clue, like the way it, it reveals a clue. But the idea that, that she has this kind of photographic memory and rem remembers everything she's read, like can recall the address of um, a, a dog that they have used for scent tracking that she read one time in passing in a story that Dr. Watson had had published, but that she didn't recognize what a Star of David was. I just, no. It, it just was, it was just very convenient, some of the plot writing for me. Um, there is, of course, kind of a love, a love uh, development between Dr. The Younger, Dr. Watson and Joanna, which I, while I liked it, it kind of progressed really rapidly. Like to the point where it felt a little, forced is not the right word, but it felt a little, again, convenient. It just felt a little convenient. So the story was kind of um, 
a bit predictable in terms of like the way that it developed, but in a good way, like you knew they were going to solve it and there were still some like kind of surprises in the clues, but there were times when the narrative style was very kind of convenient and not very, um, it just didn't have the same depth of what I would have expected from a, a Sherlock Holmes or Sherlock Holmes inspired case. And I'll leave it at that. So the series does continue apparently, but this is the only one with Joanna. The next of them take place in a more modern setting um, with her granddaughter. So that's kind of how they jump at time forward. And I think kind of cut ties with the old story because they, uh, you know, there's not the original Watson anymore who knows Sherlock Holmes. Um, so that's kind of how they cut the ties and they move her to America. So her, her parent, her, her father, Joanna's son uh, immigrated to the U.S. She's born and then um, her name is also Joanna. She's named after her grandmother. And then that is where the rest of these books take place. So will I pick it up? The next ones, it's a, it's a, it's a shaky maybe at the moment. Um, I did notice that there are some more of the audio books on script. So I saved the next one but there are many other things on my TBR I think I'd rather get to first. So will I ever go back to it is kind of a maybe. Um, did I enjoy the read? Yeah, I took it on a trip um, and it was fine. It wasn't anything I kept getting really drawn back into. It was a pretty easy light read um, and I loved the characters. So to some level, there was a lot of comfort in the reading because they were characters that I was familiar with, even though of course, you know, Joanna and Dr. Watson the Younger are kind of a a new take but there was a lot of familiarity to the writing and the characters so it was very comfortable read but um yeah overall it was it was okay it was a good book it didn't i didn't think it was a great book but it was it was a good book it was it was fine um and i, I had a physical copy of it that i had bought at a bookstore and then i left it on my trip i had i fell asleep with it on the hotel bed and didn't notice when i was bagging up that it fell so I don't have a physical copy with me anymore. And somebody, some lucky person out there now has it because I left it. Enjoy. I hope you, I hope you get, I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments if you read this book or if you've read any other Sherlock Holmes adaptations that you really recommend. Um, like I said, this one was a good book. I'm not dissatisfied. I just probably am not going to continue the series. It was, it was okay. Um, I think any, any author who takes on a really well beloved and popular character like that is, um, I think they set themselves up with some really high expectations. And I, I listen, I respect anybody who finishes a book because it is hard to write. So if you've read it, let me know in the comments. If you've read anything like it, let me know because I'm always on the lookout for a good mystery series. And we will see you next time.